All right, let's balance this chemical equation. So before we get into the exact solution, just remember what the whole idea of balancing chemical equations is about. When we look at this reaction, we have what essentially amounts to a before and after, or at least that's how we can think about it. And so the idea is these are our starting materials, right? Our reactants, and these are the products, what we make. So we have to have the same number of each element on either side of the reaction because the idea is matter cannot be created nor destroyed, right? And in a chemical reaction, we're gonna have the same number of carbons on both sides before and after, the same number of hydrogens, oxygens, and all the elements, right? So as we do this, what I like to do is make a little tally. When you get experienced, you may stop doing the tallying, but let's do the tally in order to learn this technique, all right? So what I like to do is I look at the way that the elements are written on the reactant side, and I list them off. So we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So I'm gonna just go carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And I'm gonna count how many there are on this side of the reaction. Real quick guys, if you'd like to support this channel, please give a like, subscribe, and comment. Either any questions you have or requests for other topics for me to make videos on. Um, all those things help the channel. And if you'd like to support me further, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, I left a pretty successful manufacturing job to do this full time. Uh, and so in order for me to be able to continue producing these lessons for free, please support uh, me on Patreon. That's gonna help me make this my dream career is helping you guys do well in school um, and then eventually getting the careers of your dreams. All right, guys? So I appreciate it. Now back to the topic. And so this subscript is indicating that in this molecule, there are two carbons, right? So that is our two, we have that many carbons. There are four hydrogens, so the subscript, the element that immediately precedes that is what that count is. So we have four hydrogens, and then we have two oxygens. Now, a little trick is to always write the elements in the same order that you wrote them the first time. Don't just follow this order over here, okay? So if you wrote CHO on the right-hand side, you're gonna write CHO again, and we're gonna count how many there are of each on this side. So now on the product side, we have one carbon. We have, we're going to do hydrogen next. We have two hydrogens. And then in this molecule, we have two oxygens. But then over here in the water, we have another oxygen, right? When there's no subscript written, it's an implied one. So we have two, three oxygens on this side. And when doing a reaction like this, I always suggest to balance the carbon first, then the hydrogen, and then the oxygen. This is called a combustion reaction, and it basically always works out easier to do it in this order. Um, so let's start off with the carbon. On the reactant side, we have two. So on the product side, we have to have two. Now, we cannot change the subscripts to these uh, molecules. So in other words, I can't just put a two here, and then now I have two carbons, because that would be a different molecule. Um, we'd be changing what this stuff is. This molecule is CO2. It's a carbon bonded to two oxygens. We can only change how many of them we have. So we do that by adding coefficients in front. And so if I want to have two carbons here, well, this molecule, there's an implied one on the carbon, so there's only one carbon in that CO2 molecule. And I would need two of that whole molecule to have two carbons. So in other words, I'm gonna put a two in front, and now I have two CO2, two carbon dioxide molecules on the right side. So now I have two times this, there's a, that imaginary implied one there, right? So I have two carbons, I'm gonna cross this out and put a two. But now this coefficient also affected the number of oxygens, right? So I'm going to now have to adjust the number of oxygens as well. And there's two molecules of CO2, so you just multiply the coefficient and the subscript to get the new count from this uh, compound. So two times two gives us four, and there's still that oxygen over here, so now we have five oxygens. All right, so now let's continue on. We have carbon is all set, hydrogen on the left side there's four, and on the right side there's two. So now the water is what contains the hydrogen, and just like we did last time, I can't change the coefficients, right? I can't make that H4O. So what I have to do is I have to say how many H2O molecules are produced. 
So I'm going to say, well, two times what coefficient would give me four? Because I need to have four. Well, two times two is four, right? So I'm just gonna put a two in front. And by the way, guys, I'm just recovering from a cold, so <laughs> forgive my voice. So uh, we have two water molecules being produced. So two times two gives me four hydrogens. And then just like last time, there's another element in this molecule, so we have to redo the count for the oxygen. Uh, so over here, we have the two times two is four oxygens, and then two times the one is two. So now that's six oxygens altogether, right? There's four over here and two over here. So now we have six oxygens. And so we go through our checklist here. We have two carbons on either side. We have four hydrogens on either side. And then for the oxygen, we have two here and six here. So I have to increase the number of oxygens on this side. And again, we don't touch subscripts, only coefficients. So this molecule of oxygen, it comes with two, always. So how many uh, you know, groups of two do we need to get six? Or another way to phrase that is two times what number gives me six? Well, that's gonna be three, right? Three times two is six. We put a three in front of here. And now we have three times two is six oxygens. So we have two, four, six. This is a balanced chemical equation. Now, if you saw my quiz reel or uh, that I posted, the short form video, what I asked was, what is the sum of the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation? Now, a very common mistake is to look at the coefficients and say, okay, two, four, five, six, seven. That's the sum of the coefficients would be seven. And you can be assured that that answer will always be on a test because teachers like to see if they can get you. But you have to remember, it's the same for subscripts. There's an implied one. Same for coefficients. There is an implied one here, right? This is a molecule of C2H4 and then three molecules of oxygen. They react with each other to produce two molecules of CO2 and two molecules of water. So you have to know that there's a one in front of here and I'm just gonna write it down you don't have to write it, and it typically is not written, but just to emphasize the point, if we're adding the coefficients, we're gonna find the sum of the coefficients. We have one plus three is four, plus two plus another two. We have eight, okay? So the answer to the question is the sum of the coefficients in the balanced equation for this chemical reaction is eight. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting, and I'll see you in the next video.